G'day and welcome to a new segment here at Powertech TV. We get asked from time to time, do you guys do motorcycles? Short answer is yes. Normally, traditionally we haven't, but both Gareth and myself, our history is in motorcycles and shooting them in particular or driving them, and that was my phone just beeping, be quiet. Um, and we have now joined up a partnership with local Harley experts, DB Motors or Dirt Bags Australia, and what better pair of dirt bags to tune their bikes than Gareth and I here at Powertech Tuning. This here is just a beautiful piece of gear, fuel injected obviously, which is why we're tuning it. And we're going to custom tune the ECU for the big stroker engine in this thing using a Dynajet PowerVision tuner. But we're not just locked to PowerVision either, we also do have the necessary hardware and software knowledge to tune the factory ECU directly without a PowerVision just that in this case, this is what we chose to use. So let's spend a bit of time uh, with this bike on the dyno, really open it up, and as old friend Steve likes to say, stretch its legs, and let's see what we come back with. I'm really excited about this. And the results are in. Now traditionally people dyno motorcycles on what's called a dyno jet bike dyno, simple little thing, inertial roller device, compact, tiny. We don't. What we do, and there goes my phone again, what we do is we use our mainline all-wheel drive chassis dyno and then write software into it to make it read pretty much the same as a motorcycle dyno jet. We've got the bike adapter on the front, the bike sits in there beautifully. It's a great setup and it works very, very well and gives you real world, real world numbers you can compare. So what you will be interested to know is that this combo came in with spot on 150 horsepower at the back tire, 150.8. We had to change a fueling. It was very lean in the middle, this is a stroker. Change a fueling, change a timing, get a good, nice, flat air fuel ratio of about 12.9, 13 to one. These things don't like flooding in fuel. They like to be run nice and crisp on the fuel for a great result. And bottom line is, we ended up with 171 horsepower at the tyre, which is a pretty incredible result. And I'm sure the owners of dirt bags will be very happy with. From one dirt bag to another, thanks for watching this segment and look forward to more motorcycle tuning very soon.